What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need in the first few minutes, and if you want a step-by-step -step run through, then stick around because we'll go through it step-by-step. -step. Today, we're going to show you how to create a site page that will easily display all of your document libraries, and as an added bonus, we'll add a link to the left-hand nav where you can get to those libraries there as well. Stick around! I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them forward. Okay, you know how we do it, let's get that timer and let's rock and roll. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your homepage, hit the drop down for new, we're gonna create a new page. We're gonna go ahead and create that page and we're gonna name that page, I don't know, something like Super Sweet Libraries, oh yeah. We're gonna go here and get rid of this web part, we don't need text right now, we just want a quick links web part, quick links, and then we're gonna go add a link Check this out, y'all. We're just going to click on site and then grab all the doc libraries that we want to show on that page. And then, ba-bam, look at that. It is done. We're going to publish that, grab that URL so that we can add it to the left-hand navigation. So we'll go to the left-hand nav, we're going to edit, and we're going to go ahead and add in a link here. Uh, we're going to call it, we're going to throw in the uh, address there, and then we're going to call it libraries, and we're going to say OK. And now we're going to take the documents, drag it up here into libraries, and we're going to take super sweet files, drag it up here into libraries, and then we save, and then ba bam! So now when you go to, we're going to refresh, we're going to refresh, we're going to do that, that's right. So now we can go libraries here, and if we click on libraries, we'll go to the page, right? Here's the page, or we can hit this little fly out, and now we can go to each library. Boom, there you go. Oh, let's rock and roll. Now let's slow it down a little bit. Let's breathe. Now let's go step by step and talk about all of that that's happening right now. Before we do that, I want to take a moment to give a great big shout out to everyone watching, all of you who have liked, subscribed, and clicked that bell notification. If you haven't done it, now's your chance. Like, subscribe, bell notification so you can know as soon as new content is available. Let's get on with it. So we'll go back to the home. And... You know, as you add new document libraries to your site, you'll have an option, do I want to add this to the left-hand nav, or do I want to add it to navigation? And if you say yes, you could end up with like a whole bunch of links here pointing to those libraries. Maybe you want to condense that, make it a little bit uh, more user-friendly. So you decide, okay, you know what, I want to go in here and I want to add like a label. You know, maybe you want to have a label called libraries. And by the way, you know what, I, I need to move this. I need to move this to the top here. I just had to do that. So maybe you want a label that doesn't really have anything behind it and you want it to fly out into all the different libraries. Well, if you're in left-hand navigation, you're not going to have that label option. You can only go with something that has a URL. You can't just have like a dead header there. Um, unless you go through the trouble of creating, like uh, turning on publishing and all that jazz, but we're, we're, we're not trying to go there. So in that case, what you can do is you go ahead and fire yourself off a new page. You just create a new page like we did here, and we named it Libraries. And then you can easily add a web part. So we what we do is we went to edit mode, and we went into, oh, come on, there we go. Went to edit mode, and we added a quick links web part. Now this thing can be configured in you know, a couple different ways, you know, you can have buttons, you can have tiles if you want, you know, whatever works for you. Film strip, that's kind of weird, but if you had more, you'd have like an arrow slide, kind of like a carousel. And then we have the grid, which, what's going on there? So we got tiles and grid, so grid is just super big. And then buttons, you can go list. You knock yourself out compact, you know, it's all just different variations. So we're going to go tiles here. I like the way the tiles look. And the super cool thing about this is, I'm going to delete these so we can see that again, is you go in and add a link and you click on site and it lets you pick from the document libraries. Now, one thing that I learned the hard way is that if you just click on the folder, it's going to pop you into the library. Okay, now there's no files in here, but I could point to a file if I wanted to, but that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to actually go to the actual document library, the top of the library. So I can select this. Now I also learned this is that you can select multiples and it will add them all in there without you having to click add link each time. So that's super slick. So now you got your um, you got your page and you got your quick links that points to all your document libraries. So we'll go ahead and republish that and we're gonna grab the URL. Uh, let's see if we can get it from page details here. 
is it gonna yeah copy address great okay so we got the address and then we say okay let's go back to the navigation we can edit the navigation and if we go in add in see how you have these options we have the link we have conversation calendar notebook planner labels not an option I did some playing around and I do believe let's let's try this out let's let's see if you rearrange the navigation to be a uh, horizontal navigation go into change the look navigation change it to horizontal I believe you might be able to go label now let's see let's see let's see let it come on give me the little edit button there yo I'm waiting for my edit button hello where is it today Okay, let's go home oh there there it is so edit I do believe now let's see what happens can we get label now link label ha ha weird why can't we do labels on the left hand that's whack uh, so now I don't know where I was at but let's go ahead and switch this back to the left hand nav the vertical situation and so because we have that URL for the page that we created, now we have something, you know, we can add We can go here. We can edit and we can toss in that URL right here and it will be a link pointing to that page and then display name, open a new tab if you want. We already did that. And so we'll go ahead and cancel. Oh, snap. We're going to refresh. That was scary. So in recap, you create the page, add a quick links web part, drop in all your document libraries to that web part, grab the URL, come back to your left hand nav and go ahead and create a new link that points to that page. And then you can, if you have document library links here, you can just drag them right into on top of the, uh, the link to the page you created and it'll make it a sublink. Uh, otherwise, if you don't have your libraries listed here on the left hand side, you could obviously go to the library, grab the URL and then um, add them as separate links and then do the same thing with the sublinks. So hopefully that helps. Let us know what you think. We love to hear your comments and we appreciate you watching. So with that, do the best you can with what you got. And remember, SharePoint rocks and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care.